So we're going to remembrane the electrode and we start by removing the uh, dust cover. And then it's most important that you empty the reaction chamber before removing the electrode. So uh, go through the menu until you come to empty. Say yes. This empties the reaction chamber. So when that's complete, unplug the electrode from the bulkhead and turn the bayonet fitting until it releases and then withdraw the electrode. So we'll need a, a, a suitable vessel to uh, empty the contents of the electrode into. Uh, and start by uh, moving the o-ring out of the o-ring groove and removing the end crown and then you can also take off the membrane o-ring and uh, at the same time remove the membrane, the old, old membrane from the electrode and now undo the knurled back nut and at this point the whatever ele electrolyte is left in the electrode will come out and now we're just going to, to rinse the electrode parts with the still water and we'll do the jacket as well and then sometimes the uh, the, the, the body o-ring is left in the body the jacket so just remove that with the uh, o-ring tool and then just dry all the component parts thoroughly. Being very careful not to uh, damage the silver coil on that part of the electrode. And so now we're ready for reassembly. So we'll take the um, electrode jacket stand, uh, place the jacket on the stand, uh, take a new membrane and position this uh, on the end of the jacket. Now it's okay to reuse the o-ring mounting membrane uh, two or three times. So Position that on the O-ring mounting tool as close to the end as you can and then to make it easier to slide this onto the membrane just dip that in, in some water and then slide it down over the jacket like so and just keep some pressure with your fingers for a moment or two and then using the scissors just cut around the membrane to remove the, the carrier. Like so. And then we can trim that a bit more. It doesn't have to be trimmed close, just uh, the excess. So as you can have a quick look at the membrane, you can see the membrane is perfectly flat. Uh, now we can put the red crown in place. To, that retains the uh, the uh, over, um, membrane mounting ring better. So the first thing to do now is to make sure you put the body o-ring back in the base of the jacket. It's very important to uh, do this at this stage. And now we're going to just put a few drops of electrolyte into the jacket. And then gently tap the body of the electrode to displace any air that might be trapped. And now we'll continue filling the jacket with electrolyte up to the level of the red dot.
Now, if you remember, we have already uncovered the, the bleed hole. There's a very tiny bleed hole just here, opposite the red dot, and it's important that this is uncovered at this stage. So now we're going to insert the electrode into the jacket with the red dot uppermost. So gently insert the jacket. It will displace the electrolyte, that's uh, perfectly okay. And right at the end you will see a little bit of electrolyte come out. Uh, maintaining a bit of forward pressure on the cable, gently drop the black back nut until it's firmly tight. And now we're going to just dry the outside of the electrode, removing excess electrolyte. Check once again that the black back nut is, is firmly tongue up tight. And then move the o-ring back into the o-ring groove to cover the bleed hole. And again we're going to just dry it uh, thoroughly. Now we're going to inspect the end of the electrode to make sure we have a nice dome appearance to the membrane. So before um, reinserting the electrode, we need to make sure the electrode aperture is dry. So using a tissue, just dry up inside the electrode aperture, just to make sure there's no moisture at all. Okay, so now we're going to reinsert the electrode. And it's always good practice to have the, the red dot uppermost. And just double check the o-ring is in place over the bleed hole. And so sliding it into the electrode chamber, just locate the bayonet and you'll turning clockwise you'll feel a gentle click to uh, confirm that the bayonet is in place. And now reconnect the bulkhead connector. And now we can perform uh, a cycle to refill the chamber. Now it will take uh, roughly 20 minutes for the electrode to stabilise after being made up. So, the, so if we have a quick look at the electrode output by going through the menu. Electrode output. And already it is uh, stabilised and uh, that is a normal reading.